guys, my name is Ms. Ashfox. I am here to show you how to set up your first charity stream. And it's super, super easy to set up your campaign and get started right away, okay? So I recommend you guys go to Tiltify.com right now and make an account. So once you are on that web page, you get to choose your cause. There are a thousand plus charities on this platform that you can support. Choose your cause, you can search for one. So if you wanna look for a direct relief, boom, there it is. If you wanna support St. Jude, they're right there at the top. We have Child's Play, Gamers Outreach Foundation. We have so many causes here that are incredible. I fundraised for A Thousand Dreams Fund, To Right Love in Her Arms, St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, Save the Children, um, National Breast Cancer Foundation. So once you find a cause that you wanna support, just click it and then make make a campaign. So let's do it together. So if we go back and we click Save the Children, is we want to support COVID-19. Um, the cool thing about Save the Children, once you click that, they have a coronavirus outbreak event specifically. So if you click register, or if you want to go back and we can just hit get started and we can start right over from fresh. So if I click save the children down here and I click coronavirus outbreak, since it's an event they have, they also have donate your birthday to save the children and you can get uh, friends and family to donate during your birthday. So it's basically giving um, your birthday to a cause that you really, really care about. So if you don't want to support those specific events, you could just click just support the charity. But let's click coronavirus outbreak. The cool thing is that you can support a team that is fundraising all together. So if you click team, you can have your own team, which is Team Rock Squad, which is mine, or you can create your own team and invite friends and family to fundraise with you. If you click support, you can support any other teams that have um, open support, because I know there's some teams that only have it strictly for team members. If you see one here that you wanna support, support them, because the more the merrier. If I click individual, you're gonna be solo dolo. Um, you're gonna want to come up with your campaign name. So STC in caps for the fight of COVID, and this is just a generic campaign name. So whatever, whatever, whatever your title is, it will be incorporated in your URL. It will show your URL preview, which is awesome. So it's gonna be tiltify.com at misshashrock slash STC for the fight of COVID. You can choose your start date at whatever time. If it's a specific event, um, certain events end at a certain time. Your campaign goal, it has to be at least $100. It could be 100, it could be 1,000, it could be 150 it doesn't matter because that cause that you're supporting they're going to thank you for it i can't stress it enough that you guys need to know that every dollar makes a difference i sound like a broken record every year that i fundraise for different causes but every dollar really makes a difference if a million people donated a dollar that would be a million dollars to that cause and to the people that really really need it in this time so please just let your family and friends and your community know that every dollar counts don't feel bad for only as people say only raising x amount of money that amount that you raised they didn't have yesterday and they wouldn't have that without you and your friends and family and your community so please don't ever put yourself down for raising x amount of money of course um the more incentives you add that we're going to get into um it will encourage people to donate and polls and all that good stuff so we're going to hop into a hundred dollar campaign goal for coronavirus supporting save the children and for here this is your summary so you can basically confirm your campaign so we have their campaign name description campaign slug which is incorporated into your url of course your date and your goal so once you click that campaign your campaign is here it's not published for anyone to see yet until you click publish campaign right here the cool thing about totify they already tried to help you out um they want you to add your live stream they want you to add a schedule they want you to add incentives add some milestones publish your campaign once you're done publishing does not mean you can't edit it later um the only thing you can't really edit is your campaign goal the thing is is when you click publish you can't make it less so if you want it to go to a thousand and you publish your campaign, you can't make it back to 500. You can only increase it then. We're gonna go back to the dashboard. So the dashboard just shows you the basics. You guys can follow this list. So let's actually follow it together. So if you go to overview, overview shows basically the overview of your campaign. Media type here is where you add your live stream or you can add a YouTube video. 
if you click here, you can add your Twitch live stream, your Mixer live stream, your Facebook live stream, or a stand so image, smash cast, YouTube live when you're live on YouTube or YouTube video. Maybe you can have a YouTube video there explaining the cause and why it means so much to you or something of that sort, you know? When you click add a schedule, you'll click it there at the icon. You'll click add schedule item. So a schedule item is basically, if you're having a special stream, you can put your whole streaming schedule up there if you want. I think it's really beneficial when you add special streams. So if you're having a Bob Ross stream or a creative stream or a cooking stream for the cause, anything like that. So using a schedule template is super effective for donors to know where to go at the right time to give to the cause that you're supporting. Incentives, so we have three 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 categories of incentives we have rewards polls and targets so rewards i usually use rewards for like put a sticker on my face so you'll put sticker on my face right i'll put a sticker on my face in the description once you click next you can have the donation amount required in order for you to put that sticker on your face to be five dollars if you have a limited amount of stickers um say you have 20 stickers you can put 20 in a quantity. If you have an unlimited amount, just leave it blank. So we're gonna leave it blank. You can have the start date. Um, say you won't get those stickers delivered until next week, but you wanna start fundraising. So you can put next week as your start date for that incentive to be able to be unlocked. And then you can have it for the end of your fundraiser. It's gonna ask you, do you want to require donors to ask a question? So say you have purple, red, green stickers. So you can click yes. And then you can say, what color sticker? I have red, green, blue, and yellow. Okay, and then you click next, and then every time that donor redeems that reward, it will let you know what the answer was so you can easily check it yourself. Instead of waiting for the person to reply and chat or something like that, boom, you put the sticker on your face. So it's gonna ask you next, does this reward need to be mailed to the recipient? No, I'm just putting a sticker on my face. But if you do have a reward that needs to be mailed, you would click yes. So once you click yes, there's nothing else you need to do in your end. But when the donor redeems it, they're gonna be asked for their mailing address and then you'll get the mailing address on your end in private. No one else will see it except you. If you do have pictures of the stickers, upload as an image so people can see what you have or what to expect on your face. So we're just gonna say this is the sticker <laughs> that I'll be putting on my face or the art that I will be selling. And you'll click next and you're gonna click save, okay? And if you have more ideas, you can click add another right here without backing out and clicking add incentive, add incentive. So we're just going to click close. So the most important thing is activating your incentive. Okay, please click the three dots that are right underneath actions and click activate. Once you click activate, your incentive will now be available for your um, community to see. So you'll get a message at the top right. Success, reward successfully activated. So we have the second kind of incentive, which is a poll. What color should I dye my hair? tips we'll just say blue green yellow how about that the cool thing about polls is that you can have a donation a thon with this as weird as it sounds people really want to fight for their option to be chosen so i'm going to show you how the polls work once we look at our campaign at the end but basically people can donate on whatever answer they want to win. Um, every dollar makes it higher. So you can have any kind of polls up there. Um, maybe, should I shave my head at $5,000 raised or something? And if people donate towards the yes or the no, whatever wins, boom, you gotta do it. And it just increases donations to the cause and it's so awesome when you have fun little things um, for people to see you do because you support this cause so much, it's awesome. It's awesome. So then we have targets, which is the last part of the incentives. It's almost like a separate part of a milestone. So adding a target, let's say if we finish this target, I will eat squid. <laughs> so it's almost like a small milestone, if that makes sense. So the difference though with this is that it's not like you raise $500 total and that's it. No, um, it's 
it's like a pool you donate to a pool to make the streamer eat squid so i will show you guys how that works too as well so let's make sure we have these activated because if they're not activated they will not show up on our campaign which is important okay if you don't see your stuff once you publish your campaign that means it's deactivated so make sure you activate it <laughs> So we have milestones. Milestones are basically milestones that you do along the way of getting to your goal. So we have a $100 milestone. So let's say we have a $25 milestone for a, as you guys can see my <laughs> pre-fields, I have Amazon gift card giveaway at $25. And you click save and it saves automatically. The thing about this is that you don't have to activate it or deactivate it. It's already an automatic milestone, but you can delete it if you don't want to do it anymore. And let's say at $50, we want to do, let's say we're going to eat a spoon of mustard. Please don't be startled. I've done this before for charity. $100 is our goal. So we're going to do a free game giveaway once we hit that goal, okay? Free game giveaway at a hundred dollars raised after you complete your milestones you can see your donors um no donations yet since we're not published and no one knows about it so it will show your donors and what they redeem and the shipping information and all that if you have that activated messages i've never received messages through tiltify but people can't send you messages um through your campaign link and the cool thing with the overlay here tab on the left there's three different overlays overlay 1.0 is the original overlay we have a new compact overlay which is awesome it's super compact on your screen when you're streaming or if you're making a video and then tiltify overlay 2.0 is awesome basically you can choose you can hide your top donation hide milestones or use fundraising event colors all that good stuff so you get to basically edit that 2.0 beta overlay which is awesome so we're gonna go ahead and publish this campaign once you hit publish campaign <gasps> or publish baby anybody can see it so once you click publish you're on your dashboard dashboard looks a little bit different it's going to show your latest donations it's going to show the comment that the donor puts the amount that it is and then it shows your polls on the right it basically shows all your incentives on the right um so your milestone and your polls and you can click share you can copy the campaign URL or copy the donate URL. The campaign URL and donate URL look different. So this is our campaign URL where it shows our whole campaign. Um, the donate URL will be this website page. Um, it's basically the same thing, but it directs you directly to donate. So I'm going to show you guys the campaign and how it looks. So this is how it looks. Boom, we're done. I have my Twitch stream added there, so when I go live, people can watch me right there. And then once they click view chat, the chat will pop up. They can type right here, um, watching our charity go off. They can see real lifetime donations, all that good stuff. I know you're probably wondering, where are my rewards? Where are my targets? Where are my polls? Boom! It's right here in the center, baby! So, if you click rewards, we have the one that um, it's going to be unlocked in a couple days since I don't have the stickers yet, right? So if you don't put a timer on there, it'll be unlocked already. So if you click select this reward, it will automatically fill your donation amount for $5. Um, and then it'll ask you for your sticker color. I believe I put that there and all that good stuff. And then you'll click donate. You can donate right here. You can do your donation amount. Um, you can be anonymous. You have to donate at least a dollar. That's how you know a dollar makes a difference to the cause. If you don't want to be anonymous, you can put whatever the hell you want your display name to be. It can be cheese stick for all I know. <laughs> so if you have any comments, it'll pop up on stream and then you'll click next and then boom. Okay. And as I said, I needed an address. It's going to ask you for your address and all that good stuff. So back to rewards. Um, if you don't want to redeem a reward, but you want to go to the targets, targets are right here. If we finish this target, I will eat squid. So if you click that target, you can donate towards that target, which is $500, right? Once that target is filled up to $500, then the person will do that target. So it's like a separate part of a milestone almost, but it's not your total fundraised amount. It's whoever donates towards that target. 
So for polls here, what color should I dye my hair tips? So if somebody clicks yellow, they get to donate whatever amount towards yellow itself or any other color they want to do. So I hope that helped you um, learn how to set up your own charity stream. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe to the video if you want to see more videos like this. And, you know, support your favorite cause, okay? And please, 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 I'm a broken record. Just know any amount you fundraise for any cause, they are so appreciative. They didn't have it yesterday because of you, okay? But now because of you, they have that extra $100. They have that extra $150. They have that extra $500 or $1,000. Just support the cause. Have facts about your cause as well. You can go to your cause website and um, ask for some facts about what they do, um, how much money supports this that they do, and all that good stuff. Because having facts and all that backing up how your community is supporting the cause is super effective too to get more donors. Anyway, that is all for me today. Make sure you guys sign up for a charity support this year. Um, give back. Give back when you can. Um, and please stay safe out there with COVID-19. I love you all. And thank you so much. Miss Ash Rocks is out. Bye.